Kia ora, New Zealand. Today, Danger Zone presents Playground Politics has gone amongst the snot-nosed rugrats that are our nation's children to find out about another big issue this election. Education. A number of issues related to education have arisen in New Zealand for the past three years, and they need to be mulled over before the election in uh, September. I don't need to worry about the state of public education. It's not as if my children are attending those big government bully holes. One of the um, largest issues in New Zealand uh, surrounding education at the moment is the idea of performance-based pay. Now this is the idea that if a, a teacher is able to get its students to achieve a higher grade, that teacher deserves more pay. This is a highly controversial issue because while some believe that it would incentivise better teaching and incentivise teachers to do a better job teaching their students, well, others Let's just say it's not without its detractions. Teachers and their unions have fought performance-based pay on the grounds that they are forced to teaching to the test, narrowing the scope and quality of our education system. You know, another big uh, issue this election is classroom sizes. A lot of parties are willing just to let classroom sizes grow. But, uh, but a classroom is ideally kind of like a rugby team, right? You want 22 players per every coach. Some people believe that increasing class sizes will have a detrimental effect on pupils' education, with teachers unable to maintain the focus necessary for success. Of course, I cannot speak to that. We never encountered such a pedestrian problem back at Eton. But educating our children isn't the only thing New Zealand Party should be worried about in 2014. Educating our adults as well. As usual, tertiary policies are just as hot kai as those regarding primary or secondary education. Many parties are promising or proposing that they will reduce or completely eliminate university costs. They will do this by subsidising the students' university fees or subsidising the university itself. I think this is a great idea because it will mean that many young Kiwis will be able to experience the university experience with uh, an incredibly detracted cost. Not all sunshine and roses, though. For some parties to claim that universities would become free, well, that's a falsity. Someone's got to pay the subsidies, and guess who lands that honour? The hard-working taxpayer, that's who. Uh, you know, there's a lot to be said for subsidised education, though. You know, um, a better educated populace is never a bad thing. You know, and if New Zealanders are better educated, you know, they can get jobs anywhere, huh? Yeah. Well, obviously I would never send my own children to a public school or to a university that students could not afford to attend themselves. But uh, helping to fund such institutions is not entirely beneath me, for one reason. Quite simply, I would find it insufferable to live in a country of imbeciles. Well, there you have it, folks. Classroom sizes, performance pay, paid for university. We hope you found this episode of Danger Zone Presents Playground Politics to be particularly educationizational. Now be sure to consider how the issues discussed today will affect you and your MP come the election. That's all for today, but stay tuned because tomorrow we're bringing you inequality.